Hi everyone, this is Sandeep for AudioMIDI.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to sync up and incorporate an external drum machine to your Tractor Control S4 setup. Uh, in this case I'm going to be using the Electron Machine Drum, uh, but it works with any MIDI device pretty much, synthesizers, drum machines or whatnot. I'm using this one mainly because it's a step sequencer so you can actually program patterns in real time. It's really a lot of fun. Uh, this is really helpful for somebody, let's say, if you already have a live setup and you're trying to incorporate some DJ stuff in there, you could do that way. Uh, another way is if you're a DJ and you want to incorporate some more dynamic elements, uh, like in this case, creating your own drum patterns on the fly, this would be really helpful for someone like that. I've seen you know big DJs like Richie Houghton do stuff like this. So this is how we would set it up. Uh, basically, on the machine drum right here, we're going to be plugging in the MIDI cables, the in and outs. Right here, we're going to be plugging them into the ports on the S4 back here. Uh, it's not as important to have in and out plugged in. It's just based on whatever your set's going to be like. In this case, I'm going to have the S4 be the master, which I really recommend because especially if you're doing a DJ set, you're going to want other devices to sync to what's playing here because this is where you're going to be doing dynamic tempo changes, pitch bends, and whatnot. So it's a little easier if you have Tractor be the master. Uh, conversely, you can have it be the slave if, let's say, you've already got a you know, full rig set up with all many devices and you're just incorporating the S4 as one more. That's an option as well, but in this case, I'm going to be showing you how to do it with Tractor as it's a master. So I showed you how to plug in the uh, MIDI plugs and then the out audio outputs is pretty simple. Here's the audio output left and right right here. Just take those and plug them into the back of the S4 unit right here. Here are the RCA inputs and we're going to set channel... C to receive that data. Um, so that's how you plug in the wiring. In Tractor, what you want to do is you're going to be going here into the preferences. And uh, in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to sync Ableton Live using Tractor's virtual MIDI output port. Uh, but in this case, we don't need to do that because we're plugging directly into the S4 with the hard wire. So all you need to do is go right here to MIDI clock and enable this send MIDI clock check mark. Um, and also have it set up so you can see the MIDI clock panel right here in Tractor. So you'll see when I uncheck it, then the play pause button goes away. And when I play it again, then it's back. Um, again, I have Tractor set as the master. In this case, I have it set to auto so that whatever track is playing, as one track ends and I mix into the next one, then it'll set the new track as the new master. So Tractor is kind of smart and knows which track is the main track to follow. Um, back to the MIDI settings, uh, there's a, there's an offset, there's a MIDI offset if you want to get things perfectly in time. I don't think it's as vital to really spend a lot of time setting this up, just because with Tractor being the, a DJ-oriented program, you can pitch bend and get things in time on the fly. So it's not as important for everything to start perfectly on time and stay on time, because you can adjust that very quickly on the fly, which is something new for, if, if you're a traditional MIDI instrument user, this is definitely a new concept, so it's really nice to have. So we have Tractor sending out our MIDI data, uh, and the machine drum is here setting it up. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to be playing a track and uh, doing a little DJ set on the S4. And while I'm doing that, I'll just be adding in sounds from the machine drum here. So we'll just play a track right here. I have it looped just so we can get uh, our timing set and everything. So we got the pitch bend there. And we'll go ahead and just uh, program in some patterns. So I've got one already there. I can just play parts. It's really easy just to get a pattern going. And then I'll show you uh, if we tempo change, you'll see it stays in time. Like I said, if it falls out of time, you can always manually adjust it that way. And as we speed it up, it catches up pretty fast. If I go all the way fast, it stays in time. Slow. Still in time. So it's a really cool feature. And like I said, I can play another track. mix 
takes out of this first track and makes it to the second new track, and we'll be fine. So there we go. We've uh, that'd be kind of how a DJ set would go. Uh, if you want to clear the pattern, we clear the pattern. It's cleared, and then. There you go. So that would be kind of how it goes. This is a not so great sounding example, but nonetheless, you get the point. So that would be how you would incorporate an external drum machine into your Tractor S4 setup. Um, the one thing I didn't cover was how to set the machine drum to receive a MIDI clock, just because that's going to vary from device to device. Uh, luckily, on the machine drum, it does it by default. If it senses there's a MIDI clock, then it'll automatically set to external. And you can't really see it, but you know, on the screen right here, it does say EXT for external sync. Uh, but all devices are going to be different, so you're going to have to consult the manual for whatever device you're using. But it's pretty simple. So anyways, uh, once again, I'm Sandeep for AudioMIDI.com. If you have any questions, feel free to call us or give us an email. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.